know, I'm going to finish this commentary really quick because uh, I'm going to do, do some homework after this. So, this is a requested translation tutorial. Um, it's kind of, it's really simple what it is. All it is is a, let me look real quick, because I actually forgot, CC grid wipe. And so what that looks like is, I really half-assed this edit because, I mean, like, I just threw in some effects. I didn't sync it at all. And so what, I'm getting off topic here. So what Tyler does is it opens up tiles and it's fully customizable. So I'm going to open this up. You can make it radial, you can make it doors, rectangular. I like radial. You can reverse the transition, which I don't really like to do. You would have to have um what you might call it on uh ah uh, forgot what it's called. Uh no, never mind, I guess it works. This doesn't look as good. So I'm gonna turn reverse transition off. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna Actually, I guess I'm gonna take off grid wipe real quick. So, here, grid wipe, take it off. This is one of the transitions that you can't do with um, an adjustment layer. It doesn't work with an adjustment layer. Grid wipe. Well, the first time I tried it, it didn't work with an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go here, and let's say I want, you want the transition to start when you have overlapping clips. I'm sorry, I mean, this is a really bad tutorial, but I want the clips to overlap, because that's you need them in any transition or else it's, you're just gonna like outline down on a black screen and then like maybe halfway through it your clip's gonna like it will go like that and it'll just look really bad so just do what I do I guess I mean you can have your own settings I'm all for that so um keyframe the completion where you want to start um also I'm just gonna put this at zero for now and then I'm going to go to where I want it to end, and I'm going to bring that to 100. And so when we go back, we have this. And then about halfway through, I'm going to rotate it 360 degrees. And then I can kind of make the, I can keyframe it to my liking. So I'll go back a couple frames, one more. I will keyframe the border in the tiles. I will go forward to where it's kind of noticeable. I'll make more tiles, maybe 20. The border, what does that do? Oh, make the border, bring it down like to 40 ish. I think that looks good. I haven't really toyed around with this plugin that much, so. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like, and it looks pretty cool. If you ask me, that looks pretty nice, but I want to make it a little more clean. So, um, open up Grid Wipe. Let's click on Completion first, and we'll go to the Grid thingy. So, click on the first um, keyframe, and go click on Easy Ease. If you hover over it with your mouse, it, is, it will say Easy Ease. Click that, and then the next one, click Easy Ease, and then we're just going to make this... Go to the top one. And to make it kind of a short and then speed up, you want to um, you don't want to drag this. Oh, that was bad. Let's see. Um, drag that up and all the way down so the dot is kind of facing up. And drag this all the way out. So what this will do is it will slow the transition and then I guess when you're half, it will speed it up near the very end. Not that noticeable, but now it'll be very noticeable. So you have all these tiles still here, and then now they're all gone. So, um, I'll go to the border and I'll do the same. Go down here and I'll click it here too. Um, you want it, you want it. What do you want from me today? Actually, yeah, you want to drag this out here, and maybe drag that out here. And just I'm trying to make it as dramatic as possible. God, I'm stuttering so much. Oh, drag this up here. 
I'm not really teaching you how to go through this because um, I don't want you just copying what I do. I want you to actually learn. So, <clears throat> like, if I just, I could make all sorts of tutorials saying, here, you want to plug in 38 right here. Um, then you want to go to exactly 10.5 seconds, and then you'll type in 100. That's not learning. That is just copying. And then whenever you want to edit something, you're going to need to go back to my tutorial every single time just to get one transition. I think that's really, really stupid. So, um, try learning it. So, I mean, there are a handful of transitions. Here, I'll do the effect. Bunch of transitions. And, I mean, these are only some of the stuff that you can do. You can be very creative with this, um software you can, you can create your own so this was kind of a half-ass screamo edit and then you can do that transition and then bring up the next clip syncing I'm also gonna stress this even though I should have stressed it a little more in the syncing tutorial but syncing is very crucial for any edit because if you miss sync it it'll just it's very unprofessional but that's my tutorial. I don't want to make it too long, even though I think I did, because that's what I'm really good at, apparently. So I hope you enjoyed it. In this tutorial, I kind of taught you the basics on how to use CC Grid Wipe. Um, don't plug in my numbers. Don't like. I don't. I don't want people to like make an edit and then go back to my tutorial, other than to see what transition I used. That's. I don't want you to like. Just be one of those guys that like, oh, okay, hold on, let me open this. Oh, oh, okay, that, now he, now he's gonna open up grid. And now he's gonna, hold on, he needs to click on that. Now, wait, you drag it all the way up here, and wait, and then what do you do with that? No, I, don't be that person. Um, learn from this tutorial. If you're not gonna learn, then, um, go copy some better editor, like, Gotar or Rob Tezor or some, someone like that. But for the people that do wanna learn, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and for the people that wanted me to teach them how to get After Effects for free, I'm not going to do that, because that would mean that I, um, I feel, I, like, ah, it's kind of hard to explain, but that would mean that I'm kind of, like, pro-torrent, stuff like that, um, but, um, if you PM me, I can probably link you to a person that will, can teach you how to do it. So, I hope you enjoy this transition tutorial and you learn how to use transitions. Um, this has been Doe, and I am out. Bye bye.